All right, uh, let's get into what we're talking about this morning. A sold out event at Harold Washington Library last night. Hundreds of people packed the Winter Garden to hear from Chicago born artist and actor Common. The uh, Oscar winner, Grammy winner, and Emmy winner. He's close to an EGOT. Not quite, though. Yeah. Um, also a best selling author, and his new book, And Then We Rise, was just released. Talks about mental and physical health and encourages communities to do the same. I had a chance to sit down with him last night, talk more about that personal transformation and his mission to inspire. Here's what he had to say. I feel like I owe it to people. I owe it because I've been blessed to have access to information, people, resources, um, travel, things that have allowed me to see better ways of life. You know, as you hear in music, a lot of times hip hop artists, we boast about having this and that material things. Well, my value and blessings have been like in getting access to healthier foods um, and being able to get in tune with the therapist and get in tune with, um, you know, spiritual leaders that mean something to me. You are a vegan? Yes. H how long? I was vegan in 99, then I went to eating fish maybe eight years later. Then I went back vegan only since 2020 now. How long you been vegan? Uh, I started back in 2018. Nice. Right, so I'm I'm still kind of new and figuring yeah. this whole thing out. But, yeah. but reading your book, it was like seeing myself in those pages. I, I am curious though, do you still have cravings, especially when you come back to Chicago? So Harold's chicken, yeah. Leon's barbecue, yeah. the pizza, the pork chops. Yeah. I mean, when you see it, do you think about it? And do you want it? I don't have cravings like often, but it has been times where. I've been around somebody eating some Harold's and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> like, wow, that, I remember like seeing the mild sauce. And I want to say to my, you know, to my people here in Chicago, the businesses, I'm not trying to knock what you give it, what the foods are, are tasty, but I just know there's other things to balance that I want something greater for my life. So I'm going to remove these things that I'm eating and add all this stuff that I think is, that I know is adding life to my body. I've been through phases in my career where I've dressed a certain way or chose to be vegan. And all I heard was like, look at this dude, oh, he wearing crochet and this and that. But, you know, I was able to be strong through it and know who I am because I had been, been through it as a kid and had worked through it and knew enough to love myself and had love around me. You mentioned how the experiences of your childhood shape who we all are. Yeah. Um, you want the love, and you've talked about that, but you also said that you've, you've dealt with commitment issues as yeah. well. Because of me working on those things and healing those things, I'm able to see myself in a greater way, which allows me to be greater in any relationship that I'm in, greater as a father, greater as a son, you know, greater as an artist, to be honest. Yeah, um, and that's that was part one. And then, of course, that uh, commitment question came after we talked about a very special lady in his life. Um, and we get into that toward the end of part two. Here it is. I've been blessed to have access to information, people, resources, um, travel, things that have allowed me to see better ways of life. I looked at that as the thing that I wanted to put my energy and life in towards building. And when I was able to get those things, I saw how much joy it brought to my life. And I wanted to share that with other people because one of my purposes is like, I feel like I gotta give people light and give people joy and inspiration and, and ways to find peace of mind in, in difficult times. You've been named People's Magazine's People. Sexiest Man Alive. Uh, hard to imagine that, that you could be self-conscious about your looks. Yeah. Uh, it, it, what were or what are some of the things that you've been insecure about? As a kid, I was short. <laughs> so that, you know, that's something that the, the girls, oh, you, you too short. You know, like, and, and, you know, my voice at the time was like something that was causing insecurity. I was young and any people tease you about anything when you're young. And so I was, you know, insecure about those things. And then eventually, because of just being around people who loved me and just accepted me for who I was, I was able to start embracing 
those things that, that sometimes people, those same people might joke about, but they let me know deep down, they, look, we love you, and you are who you are. We love you for who you are. I am not one to ask about anybody's personal life, but, uh, but, but your, you are. Your, <laughs> your, your love life is, uh, is all the buzz these days. <laughs> Um, and, and I know that, that she has been on stage at the Chicago Theater. Uh, she's been on stage at the United Center. She has won a Grammy. You, oh, you have not you, said... You know, Whoopi Goldberg? Uh, I was going to say Michelle Obama, <laughs> but, but I mean, <laughs> uh, you have not said her name. Um, I, I'm just curious. You're like, say her name, say her say name. Say her name. <laughs> she's somebody that's very... Uh, just a special human being on the planet, and I really am grateful to, to just know her. Um, and, you know, I don't, like, share a lot of my private life because I believe there's certain things that are sacred. That being said, I do honor her as, as someone in my life that I value a lot and, and care about, and I'm grateful that she's from Chicago. And no, it's not Whoopi Goldberg. It, it, so, <laughs> so, so she's doing amazing things. And I've been inspired by her before I knew her, since I know her, and, and getting to know her. I'm like, this is a, a powerful person. Just thank God for her presence. We know that, of course, is the, uh, the one, the only uh, Jennifer Hudson he's talking about right there. So, uh, boy, a, a Long, actually, it was not a long conversation. That was actually a very short conversation that we had. We had maybe six or seven minutes with Common, uh, but it was really nice to catch up with him and, and to talk about, for me, a lot of the things that I've been working on with myself from the, we're both vegans. Um, and in the book, he explains why and the results that he's seen from it. Uh, this whole idea of, of feeling and being a spiritual being, having a human experience. Uh, all of that is, is in the book, um, and he goes in, into detail about his journey from the south side of Chicago to, to traveling the world and learning all those things and bringing those lessons back to people here today. You know what? I would have thought this interview that you had done, there's so much, so much substance and all that, I would have thought you spent an hour with him. <laughs> yeah, I you wish. Really, you got You're very lot. efficient. It's, 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 no, there's a, there lot, there. a lot of detail. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know him very well. We, he was in our studio at mm -hmm. one point. Yeah, but, yeah he spot, um, by a few Wow, really nice. No, oh, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, oh there's yeah. Roz with him. Yeah. 2008. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I was trying yeah. to remember that. that was. Yeah. yeah. And every, it was one of those instances where every, look at Tracy with the long hair. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Everybody wanted to get a picture with him. Mm -hmm. He was just so... Enigmatic. I mean, just so yeah. ugh, everybody wanted. And he is—he is a charmer. Let me tell you, um, there there are some people in this building who would leave their husbands for that man uh, <laughs> right now. Uh, and and of course, a lot of people sold out crowd in that room yesterday. Five hundred oh. people. Yeah. So it's really beautiful really venue. To see too. Yeah, it was. very cool. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC Seven Chicago Eyewitness News.